Now, the third method you've got to be a little wary of. The third method is just doing this by inspection. Now, I will show you how to do it, but then I will tell you about the pitfalls of this. Okay? So, what we need to do is we're saying to ourselves that x plus 2 multiplied by something must be equal to x cubed plus 5x squared plus 16x plus 20. Okay? That's really what we're saying to ourselves. So what must go in that bracket? Well, I would have had to have had x squared. x times x squared must make the x cubed. That's the only way I can get there. I must have 2 times 10 to make the plus 20. So all I need to do is figure out what term should go there. Well, I must have um, 2x squared plus something will make 5x squared. So this would have to be 3x. 2x squared plus 3x squared makes the 5x squared. And let's check that we can get the 16x. So x times 10 is 10x, and then 2, three, two lots of 3x is 6x, so 16x. So there we are. And that's, you know, that was like lightning fast, wasn't it? OK, that was really quick. And brilliant. OK, so we can do that. However, although the inspection method is brilliant um, when x plus 2 is a factor, um, it's not very useful to us if then uh, x plus 2 doesn't go into this cleanly. And we will see examples of using polynomial division where you can get examples where this does not go cleanly into this and we get a remainder. And that is where the inspection method will fail. Okay? So in order to progress um, with mathematics and go forward to when we're looking at uh, more complicated examples and going on to degree level mathematics, you should have some form of polynomial division uh, down where you can deal with remainders. Okay, And I would definitely suggest either the grid method or the long division method for that. Um, but if worse comes to worse and you cannot remember how to do those methods, then maybe an inspection method would be all right if you know that what you're dividing by is a factor. If not, then this method may never work.